Hey YouTube, it's ACU, and today we have a topic I've been wanting to discuss for a while, and that's should I update? It really doesn't matter what firmware it is, and it doesn't matter when you watch this video. The information in it is still applicable, so it doesn't matter whether we're talking about iOS 9.3.2, the latest public firmware as of recording this video, 9.3.3, the upcoming next major public firmware release, iOS 10 or even subsequent iterations of iOS 10 once the first installment is released later this fall. Again, the exact same information will still apply. So should you update to whichever firmware is the current public firmware or even beta in hopes of jailbreaking said firmware when a new untethered utility is released? So I've actually talked about this in the past, whether you should update and what I've personally done. However, the information in those videos is kind of been misconstrued and since then I haven't given any guidance as to whether I think you guys should update and for good reason. So in the past all major jailbreak utilities were issued for the latest public firmware at the time of their release and sure while there may have been betas in testing at their release they were issued for the latest public firmwares. Now that wasn't really the case this time around with the last utility of course from Pangu targeting iOS 9.1 when 9.2.x was public. Now the reason that they did this is that they actually didn't discover the primary kernel exploit themselves. They were handed the exploit from hacker Loki Hart. So they said, hey, we'll compile it, we'll release it. Here you guys go. Those of you who are on iOS 9.1 can once again jailbreak. Of course, leaving the vast majority of unjailbroken individuals just that unjailbroken. So moving forward and going into the future, my advice to you guys as far as should you update is a resounding no. Stay exactly where you're at unless a new jailbreak utility is released that supports the latest public firmware. So let me give you guys a quick example. Even though we don't forecast a new jailbreak is going to be released for 9.2.1 seeing as it's not the latest firmware and we do expect a jailbreak utility for iOS 9.3.x, I still do not recommend upgrading from something like iOS 9.2 or or even 9.2.1 if you're on it to iOS 9.3.2 or 9.3.3 and again this exact same thing will apply moving forward into the future for new firmware releases just stay exactly where you're at it doesn't matter what firmware you're on if you want to jailbreak stay where you are the lower you are the better chance that you will be able to jailbreak even if jailbreak developers don't have any plans whatsoever to target specifically the lower firmwares and they plan on targeting the latest firmware that's fine wait until you have confirmation before upgrading so for another example wait until a jailbreak utility is released for 9.3.x let's say in this case ios 9.3.3 once that goes public before upgrading to ios 9.3.3 stay where you are beforehand because again if something like this happens in the future and another developer passes along Pangu or Taiji or someone else a jailbreak exploit, they're able to utilize on a lower firmware that's been patched on a higher firmware, then there's a good chance that they could do that. And remember, the lower you are, the better the chances that you'll actually be able to take advantage of a jailbreak utility. Don't upgrade until you have definitive confirmation. And I may have to say this again in future videos, but this should apply moving forward. So I hope you guys found the information in this video helpful. Remember, iOS 10 is still in beta stages right now. We received our first beta following WWDC, and we should get our second beta soon, of course, with a public release later this fall. And we do expect a new jailbreak utility to be issued before iOS 10 is released. Of course, stay tuned, click the subscribe button below next to my channel name to ensure that you don't miss out any time I cover news or topics related to jailbreaking and iOS updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.